yeah, so I can um, quite immediately see why you're here. I talked briefly with your parents about the situation. Um, however, we may uh, refer to it as. This is a rather unique clinical situation. Um, I don't have any experience in this. I don't think there is any professional I could send you to to deal with this particular circumstance. Don't really know how to go about doing it. Okay, well, I will don some gloves. Um, and I'd like you to um, try and get a position where um, you would be able to comfortably stand were you given some extremely profound and um, emotional, possibly, information. Something that might change your paradigm, change the way that um, you see the world. Just be ready, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. Um, I'm sorry, um, I'm not usually like this in my practice, but this is the first time I've ever come in into a situation that's even mildly like this. I've never experienced anything so strange. However, I'm sure that this situation will be much more strange for you. Can't get the glove on. Maybe I took both gloves out of the left-handed box. Or something. Anyway, that does always seem to be a struggle. Now, um, before we start anything, I'd like to tell you that look, I am a general health practitioner. I see a person as the whole. I focus on treating, you know, all of the well-being of the individual and um, and I'm here for you if, you know, I, I can refer you to all manner of specialists. I, however, I'm racking my brain trying to think of what specialist I may send you to. It may not end up being someone in the medical field at all. Well... I'll start by just maybe assessing how much you know or if you have any clues. Um, your parents definitely know what's going on. And I think they're interested in knowing if you know what's going on. Have you ever noticed any differences that you've had uh, with other children or even adults? Has your weight ever been an issue? I don't necessarily mean a average weight issue, I mean has it ever been to a point where you haven't been able to sustain upright mobility on two legs? It's there, okay. Um, I'm just going to skip right to it. It is my impression, 
However, we are not certain, but we have taken the results of your blood sample. It is my impression that there was some kind of extremely unique situation when you were born. Um, and I genuinely have no clue as to how it happened. Um, I was writing a paper last night and I did some research into the hospital where you were born and I found that they had been using animal therapy which is of course a very effective proven therapy for psychology exposure to animals that are relaxing and calm is a great way to improve the mental status of your patients I think that you accidentally got swapped with one of the baby pandas Okay, um, uh, uh, um, I've got some tissues, if you, oh, damn it, I broke through the cloth. It doesn't really matter, I don't think you can catch panda, um, just don't, don't touch your face, um, I don't want to be liable for anything you do with your claws. Did you ever notice anything unique about yourself growing up? I mean, you didn't notice that you were larger than other children, or did you notice that when you ate bamboo the other children would be eating different things? Look, I, I have to, you are a panda, you are a panda, 100%, there's no, there's no doubt in my mind that you are definitely a panda, um, you know, most kids at your age, being seven or eight, would be a young child, you were just a massive panda, it's, You have to understand, I'm so, I, I don't know how to tell you this, but through, through visual observation, which is quantitative, I can see that you are covered in black and white hair, you have a panda eyes, nose and mouth, and you have claws, um, your parents tell me you're on a bamboo only diet, um, you can't speak English, you just grunt and make other noises that I've seen pandas make. So, I'm not exactly sure what we do in this situation. It's my impression that one of the adult pandas that were being used as therapy gave birth during some, some therapy session or something with maybe a mother or someone near the maternity ward and somehow you as an infant got switched with the baby human. It's possible that m maybe you came out very pink or something and or maybe you had a genetic you know deformity and did not have hair or something upon birth or don't really know, I'm not a specialist in pandas. Um, anyway, you were switched at birth with a baby panda, and you are a panda. What happened to the human, we're not exactly sure about. 
um, I've been looking, there have not been any instances of humans being raised in a zoo or by pandas so far that I can see. So, I don't know, but I, I need to tell you, you've been raised by your parents, you have standards, you're very polite young person um, and so I'm sure that you'll have a great life ahead of you but right now we have a really important decision for you to make I'm going to give you two options but you do need to decide today I'm sorry about the rush but I've been talking with your parents and people are starting to suspect things when they see you, a fully grown panda, sitting in the middle of a, you know, a school, trying to get your education done. People are suspecting something's up. I almost always delve into my clinical expertise when solving problems, but this is a situation where I can't. So I'm going to use my reasoning as a professional, but also as a person. And I'm trying to put myself in your shoes. Look, metaphorically, of course, you can't fit any shoes on those very large feet. Now, now option one is that we set you up or try to find your actual panda parents and hope that they can adopt you. But I don't know how well you'd go living as a panda because you're adapted for human life. The second option is rather unorthodox some people may see through the facade but I think we can do a reasonably good job this option is that I shave you completely head to toe and you come back to me every now and then and I'll refer you to a surgeon or someone like that and we'll try and keep your physical form looking as human-like as possible so today of course we will just be doing the trimming the hair cutting um, I don't think you've ever been shaved before I did ask your parents and they said you hadn't so I won't be using an electric shaver as that might be a little bit dangerous um, for someone who's never had their skin shaved you probably have quite sensitive skin. So we're probably going to have to do hundreds of rounds of laser therapy to remove the hairs from your entire body, or I'm not exactly sure what, what it is we do from here, but okay, I'll tell you the rest while I start helping you out. Okay, um, I don't actually have any scissors that are very good for this job. The scissors that are used for opening flesh and stuff aren't really adapted for cutting hair. And we don't use any, you know, hair cutting scissors for surgery. We use a very precise electric razor blade. Um, which would not be sensitive for your skin. So I have a normal pair of scissors and I'm just going to try and see what progress we can make. No. This might take a while. Lucky your parents booked you a triple appointment. goodness me mm -hmm. 
well, I think I have to move in a bit closer. You do have to do your, most of your body. Um, I'm not exactly sure how the rules and regulations work for a panda. I'm not sure if you're considered an adult or not. Um, but I do want to help you, of course. This does seem extremely ineffective doing it this way. Um, let me have a think. Look, your body image is probably going to dramatically change once you remove all of the hair, but you will look more human-like. Um, and so I suppose that's a good thing. I am very interested in something. Um, have you ever been in a relationship with a rather... with another nine or eight-year-old? Do you have a little friend, or are you an adult? A panda year is different. Mm. Are you attracted to other pandas? Mm. I have an idea about how we can get the fur off, but it's rather unorthodox, just like this whole situation is. I'll show you what I mean. I think this is probably the best option, um, seeing as we can't, you know, use an electric shaver, and those scissors are too small, this might be the best option. Um, just prepare yourself for what you look like in the mirror. You um, have extremely pink skin under there actually very interesting I don't know if you've ever seen your skin before um, maybe we can hook you up with some cheaper tanning lotion or something so it doesn't look completely human hmm I know this is awkward, really, but there isn't much else to do in a situation like this. Um, now, I'm wondering what type of haircut you like, or if you want me to shave the top of your head off as well. Like, do you want to be bald? Do you want hair? You don't have much length in your head hair, so it's going to have to be military, whatever we do. But, you know, we can try and whip something up. We can buy your wig. Um, yeah. My shoulders are getting sore. This is actually, this is a bit hard. Let me, another or not unorthodox thing, but I just, I'm so sorry, I'm working up a sweat. Um, you know, I usually am a people person. But, um, I don't really know what to talk about with a panda. I don't even know if you are a people. Uh, if I'm a people person, I don't know if I'm a you person. I think animal persons. Maybe we should have got one of them. You know, my friend doctors who likes cats or something to talk to you. Or is that... Is that rude? You can understand me. Um... 
Mm. Well, I don't know. This whole thing is awkward. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be writing about this in one of my medical journals, if I have your permission. Thank you. Hmm. So, one of the theories that um, the team, when we had our collaborative team meeting, were thinking about was whether or not you'd had contracted pandarism. But, um, so far as I know, that's not a real thing. Um, I don't think you can be bitten by another panda and then turn into one or something. Uh, no, I'm pretty sure that's vampires. Um, yeah. Anyway, you must understand. Uh, and I'm sorry about the weird scissors and the uh, hedge trimmers and everything, but uh, we do have a bit of a PPE shortage at the moment. Um, as there has been a spread of, you would know, the tingle fever. Um, I can see that this is going to be much more difficult than um, I thought. I'll get you a mirror, so you can have a little look at yourself now. Here's the mirror. Uh, just flip it slowly, and just have a look. Yeah, see? It's... It's something, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, enough looking at that. Don't look at that again. Now that we've done that. Now that we've done that, um, I need to just clear away some of the uh, smaller hairs. You didn't want a beard, did you? Hmm. Goodness me. When I enrolled in medical school, this is not exactly what I pictured. Um, but, I don't know, I'm starting to think that maybe there was a gas leak in the building and I'm actually lying on the floor unconscious right now. Um, now that your skin is exposed to the elements, it does look like um, your skin will be a bit flaky and dry and extremely sensitive. Um, I don't know if it will adapt. It may or it may not. I haven't studied pandas. So, it's my opinion that it would be wise to cover you in maybe Vaseline or something. Yeah? Okay. Okay. Let me go get the Vaseline. Okay, now. Petroleum. It's probably what you're gonna smell like. Maybe forever. <laughs> I don't really know. Um. But, I'm sure you'll be okay. I don't really know how much I should get. Probably a bunch. Sorry, I'm just... Let's, I guess, scoop it out. Oh, I've not done this before. Okay. Wow, that 
because it was really weird. Okay, you ready? Hmm. It's really weird. Your skin doesn't have a the same texture as a human skin. But, uh... I'm sure that's normal for a panda. Um, so, how's your day been? Yeah, not every day you find out you're a panda. Hopefully, not every day. I wonder if this has ever happened before to anyone else, or if we're in unexplored territory. Could be famous, you know. But, um, probably not a good idea. <laughs> For the time being, people will want to study you, I think. We've got a bit of an E.T. situation on our hands. Yeah. Have you seen that movie? No. You're not the little boy in that scenario. How does that feel? I, um... Okay. Can you give me your paw or hand or whatever that is? It's very large. It's very weighty. Huh. I'll just massage this into your palm and the back of your palm. Yeah. Crazy stuff. Just when I thought 2020 couldn't get weirder. Anyway. So you'll be coming back here, I think, quite frequently. Um, pandas are endangered. Um, so you may be required to join the panda breeding program. Anyway, but, um, yeah, and the problem is, I don't know whether I should be telling the authorities about you or not, because I don't know if you have the same rights as my other patients, seeming that you're not a human. This is getting quite philosophical, isn't it? <laughs> Maybe that's the next stop, huh, for your human transformation journey. Or you can always go live with the pandas. Not in the wild, though. I don't think you'd survive. How does the Vaseline feel? Yeah, it is quite warm. Vaseline does tend to heat up when you rub it. Um, but I hope that's calming for you. Seeing that you're a big... kind of fat panda. What do you have for breakfast? I thought so. I've never eaten raw bamboo. I've had those kind of little bamboo things, but... But, um... Yeah, what else is there to talk about with a panda? Do you see any good... I mean, what do you do for fun? <sighs> Sit around, eat bamboo... You watch movies? No? The bamboo's good enough? <laughs> okay. Um, maybe I'll refer you to a different general practitioner. I don't know if I'm ready to take you on as a long-term um, patient or client. Um, I think maybe I'll try and find someone else that's a little bit more suited to something as strange as this. Maybe, um, maybe a professional tingle maker or someone will have to help you out. Um, you might need more than medicine. We might have to use tingles to heal you. Okay, that. I think that's about it. Um, 
good luck. It was good to meet you. Um, I hope your panda life is awesome. Um, and keep eating bamboo, I guess. Bye.